Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is, there is a problem with your game setup. Please reinstall your game. To fix this, the first step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio files. Scroll down and here you can see x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. So download both x86 and x64 and then run this exe file. So run this x86 and x64. So click on it. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install over here. So in my case, I see the repair. If you see install, hit install, click on yes to allow and run this x64 file as well. Again, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run EA Anti-Cheat Game Service Launcher as an administrator. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. And then here you can see EA Anti-Cheat Game Service Launcher, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to switch to different language and then you can revert back. So you can click on manage if you have the game on EA view properties over here, you can see the language. If you have any other language like Japanese, Chinese, Korean, whichever language you, ha you have, uh, you can just, you can change the language to English. So for many users, changing the language to English has worked. So if you have the game on Steam and then go to properties, make a right click on the game, go to properties. And over here, you can change the language. Like if you have German language, in that case, you can switch to English language. And then you can relaunch the game and then check. If you want to go back to the language, once the game is up and running, you can revert back and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Similarly, uh, you can do the same thing over here. Uh, you can switch to English and then you can save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install media feature pack. Now to install media feature pack, uh, this is for Windows N edition. Like if you're using Windows N edition version, then you can go through this website and check how to install in, in Windows 11. Uh, you can go to like system and then you can click on uh, optional features over here and then click on view feature. And then you can click on yes to allow and then type in media feature pack. And then you will see media feature pack over here. In my case, I have Windows 11 home, so I don't see it. If you have, if you're using N version of Windows, if you see media feature pack, put a check on the box and then install it and then restart your computer and then check. You can even use this turn Windows feature on or off option. Click on it and make sure media feature is checked over here and then click on OK and then install media feature pack and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, you can even switch to the normal version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 edition and then check. Next step is to go to this location. So open file explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, C drive, open Windows folder and find system32 folder open system32 folder and once you open system32 folder you have to find this d3d compiler 43.dll so d3 d3 d compiler 43 so here you can see d3 uh, d compiler 43.dll copy this file create a backup so create a backup first once you have a backup created then you can make a right click on d3 compiler 43.dll and then you can delete it we have a backup so no need to worry if you receive uh, error like this something is running you can make sure that you close that application in my case it's epic games launcher so if you receive any error that any particular application is running you can close that application and then try to delete it once again now it's deleted 43.dll is not here now you can go to the 
Microsoft website. And then you can download this DirectX file, run this exe file, click on yes to allow. And then I accept next, uncheck install Bing bar, next. And let the installation complete. This will take some time. And once this is complete, now you can restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Again, next. Again, next over here. Now it's installing. Now done, click on finish, then restart your computer. Restart is a must and after the system restart, if you go back, if you go back to the system 32 fold, uh, folder, let me refresh this. Then you will find D3D compiler 43 is back. Once this is back, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify or repair the game files. Now, if you have the game on eApp, click on manage to repair. After the repair, launch the game. If you have the game on Steam, then make a right click on the game and then select properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify and degree game files. After the verification is done, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Update Windows. This is important. So go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. Restart is a must and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if not, not working, you can just uninstall and then reinstall the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.